everyone. Today, we are going to learn how to use stepper motors with Arduino. This stepper motor right here should look really familiar. And it is the 28BYJ-48 because it's the one that comes in practically every starter kit. It's a five wire unipolar motor and it runs on five volts. It draws about 240 milliamps. So you know what that means. It is a big no-no to be running it off your Arduino. And that's why when you're looking to buy one of these, it will often already come with this little motor driver right here. And this is the ULN2003. Using a motor driver module makes it really easy to hook it up to the Arduino and control the stepper motor through these pins. But not only that, it'll safely provide the power necessary for your stepper motor because it's rated to 500 milliamps and this guy only needs about 240. Starting with the Arduino connections, let's hook up in one to pin eight, in two to pin nine, in three to pin 10, and in four into pin 11. The Arduino will control the stepper motor through these wires. So all that's left is power. This motor driver can take five to 12 volts. So be sure you never go above 12. Our very first pin is negative, and this pin is positive. And I'm gonna use the breadboard power rail for this. You can either use a battery or a wall adapter. A stepper motor is gonna eat through this pretty quickly. So if you wanna play around for a bit, I highly suggest plugging it into the wall. And for that, I like to use a female jack adapter where I screwed in some jumper wires, making it easy to plug into the board. Then all I have to do is plug it into my five volt, two amp wall adapter when I'm ready. This all seems ready to go, but appearances can be deceiving. All the components that you use with Arduino have to share a common ground. And so I'm looking at these ground pins right here and nothing is plugged in. I'm gonna use the ground on this power rail and then pick one of the grounds of the Arduino. Now our external power supply shares a ground with the Arduino as well as our motor driver and stepper motor combo through here also shares the same ground. Motors don't do any good standing still. So to the code. This is the sketch I put together. It's written in real time with live video chat for community members. That way you guys can ask me questions along the way. So I invite you to join. Link for that is below. So let's see what we got going on here. The first thing I did was include the stepper library. What is the number of steps to complete a full 360 degree rotation? Now you can find this in the data sheet, on forums. For this stepper motor, it is 2,048 steps to complete a full circle. So I decided to create a integer style variable and I called it steps per revolution and set it to 2,048. When you're researching this particular motor, oftentimes you're gonna find this number for the steps per revolution. But once in a while, you'll also stumble upon 2038. So what's up with this debate? And which one is the real full revolution number? I normally use 2048. When you're operating it in full step mode, each step is equal to 11.25 degrees. So in order to make a 360 degree turn, dividing by that, it gives me 32 steps per revolution. So we're still pretty far away from that 2000 number. But then with these motors, more often than not, they have a 64 to one gear reduction. So we're gonna take that 32 and multiply it by 64. That's where I get the 2048. For the 2038, it actually turns out that the gear reduction is 63.68395 to one, not really 64. So most people just round up and use 64, thus giving you that 2048 number. You would take your 32 steps and multiply it by that decimal, and that's how you get the 2038. In this case, this difference of 10 steps is so minute 
but for your application, it might make a big difference. So try both and see which one works best for you. Next, let's set a speed for our stepper motor. And I chose an RPM of 10. This part right here is really important because you are initializing the stepper library on the pins that we used. And we're going to use this function right here to tell the Arduino where these motor driver pins are connected. So the first thing I do is start with stepper. Then you want to come up with a unique name for your stepper motor because you might be using several of them in a robot, like a neck stepper motor, an arm stepper motor. So I called mine my stepper. You can call yours whatever you want. And the first parameter that it takes is the steps per revolution. Now you can just use 2048 and pop that in here, but I like to reuse my sketches for different projects. So I prefer to use it as a variable. That way I can always mess around with the steps per revolution and it automatically updates in here. Next, you want to put in your pins in a very specific order. So we hooked up our motor driver from pins eight through pins 11. And so this very first pin right here is your in one pin. The next pin, which I have as pin 10, is your in three. And then pin nine, the in two, and then pin 11 is the in four. So it's really important to put your pins in exactly that order. In this setup section, I decided to set a speed that's gonna be used for the rest of the sketch. And in order to set your speed, you use this function. Set speed, you're setting the speed for which stepper motor? my stepper motor, and how fast do you want it to go? Now here you could put a hard number, like 17, five. I put RPM because we set it to 10 up above and it gives me one place for us to mess around with some different speeds. And finally the loop, this is the part that just keeps repeating itself over and over again. First thing I wanna do is make a full revolution in one direction. I'm going to step my stepper motor. And which stepper motor do I wanna step? my stepper motor, and how many steps do you want it to take? You can have a very specific number in mind, like 500 steps, 400 steps. Because I'm doing a full revolution, I am just going to use my variable name. After it does that, I'm going to have it pause for half a second or 500 milliseconds. Then let's have it make a full revolution in the opposite direction. And for that, we are going to step the stepper motor again. The my stepper is the one that we're going to step and we're going to negative it, make it go in the opposite direction. Stop for half a second and then start the whole thing all over again. I have a highly advanced toothpick motor linkage system going on here and let's see if it's really completing a full rotation. Let's try some different rotations. So I am going to take my RPM here and paste it here with a speed of 10 RPM. Let's only have it turn halfway. So we could take 2048 divided by two and put the number in there, or we can just go like that. And for the return, let's try a different speed. Here, I'm just gonna hard code five. We'll go half as fast and also half the revolution. It's gonna start over right about here somewhere, and it's gonna move at an RPM of 10 till it reaches about halfway, and then it's going back half as fast. Speed, baby speed! And then turtle mode engaged. Stepper motors are not about speed, but they are highly precise, and they step through these movements like butter. If you have any questions about the circuit or the code that you saw, post in the comments below. And if you want code examples from this video or other past videos, I encourage you to sign up for free for my newsletter. That way, every time I put up a video, you get that code delivered right to your inbox so you don't miss anything. But if you want more personalized help with your project, I invite you to join my community where every week we get together via live video chat to deep dive into components, set aside time to build our projects, try out our monthly Arduino challenges, or get help for your project from me and other members. Link for that is below. Guys, I had a blast. Check you later.